Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2, not specifically. We're going to be looking at Transmog and the whole situation revolving around that. If you guys don't know, if you guys just haven't heard, Bungie introduced the things that you have to do to go through Transmog, and a lot of people are not happy about it. Plus the increase in shader price. If you guys don't know, it's currently 40 Bright Dust to buy one shader. And then after that, it's 300 now. So I'm going to, I'm going to argue why that's dumb. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get right into it. And again, if you come to this video just to like completely argue my point, that's fine. I don't really mind. Just know that I'm attacking your argument, not you as a person. Although I do think whoever defends this is a problem in the game, but that's, I'll explain why later. So Let's talk about my first issue that I have with this whole tra transmog situation, which is it kind of stifles experimentation. And what do I mean by that? So if we look at my hunter right now, my hunter is looking like this, which is for anyone who watches my content will immediately know, oh, Tony changed his hunter look because like, what is it? A week ago, if I remember correctly, I showed, I showcased my hunter for season of chosen. And these are videos that I do, which where I basically try to make a new look for my classes, not just my hunter, every class for that season. I've been doing this since season of, well, technically I've been doing every season since the game started, but I've been recording it since season of uh, Menagerie because my hunter did it and I forgot to do it for my Warlock and Titan. But after that, it's literally been just non-stop me just doing it for each each season each season i have one of these videos so you get to see my hunter my warlock my titan going through different looks and some i do repeat but after a while i kind of veto some of the stuff that i've already used so like the cloak that i'm using currently i vetoed it because i used it too many times i think the sovereign boots i already used so i can't use that anymore same thing with the vest of great hunt i think so these are already items that I vetoed. So this is just me using it just for me. But that armor set that I use for this season, I love that armor set. It took a whole season for me to fi like finally figure out which pieces I wanted to use. And I would literally stay up for like maybe like an hour, two hours, three hours, just trying to like comb through the game, see like what looks good and what can't, what doesn't look good. Even trying to get some random rolls on some other armor sets because again, we don't have transmog. If I had transmog, this would have been way easier. Like another argument point that I see a lot of people say is that, oh, I don't, I can't think of like two armor sets that I would immediately get right now. I don't think a lot of people would have more than two armor sets that they can pick out. And I've seen a lot of content creators tell me this, like, oh yeah, go to your collections see what armor sets do you really do you really see yourself using any of any of this like like i can tell you right now if we're if we're if we could get like collect uh ornaments from year one as well then the ornaments from named lords obviously i would get all of those i would get the iron remembrance all of those the iron fetch fellowship all of those the iron simicky all of those like that's four armor sets just from Iron Banner alone, dog. And I know a lot of people are like, would you really use all of them? No, I would not use all of them. But people who know me, who know how I use Transmog, it, they know that I would use pieces of this. So the fact that I'm getting all of these, actually, I probably wouldn't get the cloak for this one just because you can't change the color of it. But everything else is valid because I would be using pieces of all of these for different armor pieces. So like, like, for example, like the only reason I'm doing the Iron Remembrance is because it has a Japanese theme to it, at least these three. And I do like the helmet for that one. That's the only reason why I'm picking the Iron Remembrance and the Iron Fellowship and actually Iron Samiki I love. So that one's just cool for me. But these two for sure are just because it has Japanese themes. So these for sure, I would be combining with armor pieces like this right here so the sixth coyote obviously that has a japanese look to it the um, i forget what it's called the bombard the bombardiers these obviously have a japanese look to it that's the only reason i would have those just for those two sets or any other japanese look to be like 
that's the thing it's like it's not just like oh i would wear all of them no 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 i would use pieces of them so that way i could com combine something cool that looks japanese infused like these these are one of my favorite um uh, arms in the game for hunters haven't seen it since season of the drifter and i dismantled them like uh shadow keep i think so for me honestly i would be using that i just named four four whole armor sets just from Iron Banner alone. And that's ignoring the fact that I would get the Iron Truage set. Uh, I would get like pieces of this. I would get pieces of just pretty much everything. All the armor sets that you see, I would get pieces of. Like the, the Wing Contender. I would get the helmet and then maybe the cloak. The, don't even get me started on class items. There's a lot of class items I would just get by default. So... I can already tell you I would be using a lot of these and a lot of people might say well wouldn't you just use it for like one armor set for like a month and that's it no dog I literally switch my armor like maybe I switch my armor a lot like look wise just because I like to look cool and then once like after like maybe two to three days or a week I think that's the longest I'll go then I'll switch my armor to something else just because I like to look different so that's the thing it's like for the for the content creators for the people who are telling me you can't name like four armor sets that you would wear right now i can name you more than four armor sets that i would pick just so so i can have as backup when i want to change to something and that's the thing a lot of people are kind of dismissing other people's like need not need but their desire because they can't see themselves doing it and i think that's bullshit i think that's super bullshit because just because you can't see yourself wearing more than four sets that means i can't do that like that's that's the dumbest shit in my in my head so i don't want to call out call out any content creators or anything like that like i'm way too small to do that but at the same time don't push your own experiences and make them sound like all oh, they're valid because like i said i could name four armor sets right now that i would wear and even more armor pieces that I would literally pick just because I want want them. Like, again, I've already picked a bunch of pieces just from the competitive slot of, of the whole collection. We haven't even gone to Gambit. The world... Dude, this is what kills me. Is that content creators and most, most people will tell you, yeah, I can't see myself picking more than four, but they'll have like all of this grayed out they'll have like half of their collections grayed out because they didn't get any of it and i'm like of course because you don't have any any armor to choose from look at me i've literally collected almost all the armor in the game you're telling me oh yeah i don't have a valid choice because why would i bro half the fucking <laughs> half the ornaments or the armors in the end game alone i would do because they look fire all of the shadow of silence suit i love it the bladesmith memory i would probably do the boots and the arms and maybe the cloak like all of the moon fangs for sure all of the uh all of the great hunt for sure all of the ace defiance suit and the emperor's agent suit for sure oh but they're the same thing uh, there are differences here and there that i appreciate but whatever if you think so whatever e some of the white stuff some of the green stuff some of the blue stuff it it kills my soul that people are just dismissing it because oh i, I can't see myself doing that so why 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 would someone else have that like what that's dumb so another thing i've been hearing is that transmog would devalue the eververse store armor sets and it's i think that's just a ridiculous statement because let's not let's not act like the eververse store isn't the coolest armor in the whole game like it is like the, the the eververse armor is literally the coolest armor set in the whole season each season each season it's the coolest set like you're not gonna tell me oh yeah no nah, it's not the coolest set literally everyone is always using like their their bitch ass uh their bitch ass armor with no ornaments and it's like no dude everyone's using some armor set from from eververse like hunt, hunters for sure are wearing the lux armor set every hunter is usually wearing the either the lux armor set or the cartographer armor set like let's not act like that like the, oh, those are not the best ones titans as well the titans have their own warlocks have their own you really think people are not gonna look at the eververse armor and be like yo i need that even if uh transmog's in the game i think that's outlandish to say if if anything i think 
with transmog in the game it'll push bungie to make even cooler armor because it's gonna have to compete with transmog and i don't i don't see that as a bad thing if anything we're getting better quality armor sets because of transmog at least that's how i view it uh i could be wrong on that and if i'm wrong i'll definitely say it but at the same time wouldn't it be better for Bungie to compete with itself? Like, oh, we need to make better armor so that way people can keep buying these ornaments. Even though $15 for an ornament is still fucking wild, but whatever. The thing the thing that, I, that really irks me about the whole transmod debacle is the fact that the, it's just overly greedy. Like, let's not act like Destiny 2 is like the only thing that they can make money off of, especially the store. We pay for expansions, we pay for seasons, uh, and we pay stuff for it. Well, I don't, but there's people who pay stuff through the Eververse store. They have their actual online store where they sell merchandise, where you can get a fucking hoodie for $84.99. They used to sell shoes that were like $200. I can't find them, but like they used to be there. Let's not act like they don't, they don't make money. They have a backpack for like $144. Excuse me, bro. I'm sorry. But if you act like, oh, Destiny 2 needs to make money, dude. Like they're like an indie dev and they need to make money somehow. You're, you're deluded, dog. They have money going up the ass. They're a multimedia company now. They've even said it like we were looking into making shows. We want, we have multiple games in the, in production, bro. You're telling me Bungie, Bungie doesn't have enough money to like make Destiny 2 better. I'm sorry, bro. They literally put a skeleton crew for Destiny 2 and you guys are just like, it's okay, man. You guys, you guys are going through a lot right now, bro. Stop giving excuses, bro. Stop giving excuses. Stop it. It kills me because this game is treating their paid customers like they're free to play customers. And I paid personally, I paid $300 for beyond light i got the collector's edition and i i know people are like you didn't have to pay 300 dollars for the collector's edition yeah i didn't have to do a lot of things but i wanted it and now i highly regret it because the collector's edition was not as good as the ones from before not only that dude there's so many issues with the collector's edition that i could talk about like for one why do you feel the need for me to pay you more money through the eververse when i've already shelled out 300 dollars and the season's not even out yet or the expansion's not even out like give me some silver or something dog like it's bullshit but you expect me to pay 15 dollars for an ornament at eververse plus the event ornaments which this christmas i don't know if you know but this christmas that dude it's so wild it's so wild what people let bungie go through or get away with and it's it's funny to me that people still defend this shit so what kills me is that this game is treating its players like it's path of exile or warframe like it's not free to play i don't care what the hell you tell me have you played the free to play aspect of this game it's actual dog shit bro you all you have, all you have access to is the planets. That's it. There's no campaign because they gutted the campaign. You literally just unlock planet after planet. I actually was talking to one of my clanmates. He was telling me, oh no, the, the, X, the EXP was easy to grind. All I had to do was kill stuff. And I was like, kill stuff where? Oh, and the planets. I'm like, what? Like, what did you do though? Oh, you know, just went to like lost sectors and kill stuff, events and whatnot. There's shit that we're like super bored of and like we don't want to do. They do that every day. And I get it. I get it. For a new player, that's all cool and dandy. But bro, can you imagine going back and doing that and that's content for you? I can't. Don't treat this game like it's free to play. If you defend this game and say it's a free to play game, you're out of your mind because it's not free to play. It's free to enter at most because you still have to pay for content that's current. And it's nothing like, oh, well, at least it's cheap, right? No, it's $70. It's $70 to pay for the expansion and the seasons. And don't even get me started if you like an ornament or something from the Eververse store. And now on top of that, they want to monetize the transmog, which should have been a gift to the community. Like in all honesty, this should have been guys. Here it is. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time. All the goodwill they got, they gained from season of the chosen all destroyed because some idiot decided to not make this for the community and decided, you know what? Let's double dip on our pain customers already. And if you defend this, I'm sorry, but going forward, and not even going forward, if you've defended 
stuff like this before you're the reason this game is this bad you're the reason that this game has so many monetization options for a game that you already have to pay money to play bro what the hell this is not free to play i have to pay money to play this game and now i have to pay money to transmog oh you don't have to pay money i get two armor sets and we've already established that i can name more than just two armor sets or four armor sets that i want right now oh but you're you're not entitled to that armor it's in my fucking collections i literally own this at one time or another how how am i not entitled to that when i literally have fucking owned this armor i've literally owned it before all of the collections armor i have gotten at one point or another you're telling me I'm not entitled to that even though some of these you can't even get in the game anymore because they put it behind the content vault? The raid armors, perfect example. I can't use any of these now because, oh, I'm not entitled to it. Even though Ace Defiant, I was there year one of Destiny 2. Every, <laughs> bro, it, it, it kills me that people have gone that far where they're like, you're not entitled to this just because you play the game. Yes, that's the whole point. I paid them, I paid money to play this game. Therefore, I'm entitled to whatever the fuck the game has, bro. I, it's so wild. It, it kills me that people are really trying to pull this shit out of their ass. And if you don't get the anger, then bro, like just say it. You don't care about cosmetic. Just Bungie, please don't make any new armor sets. Just give us stat sticks. Just give us a helmet, an arm, chest piece, legs, and cloak, or whatever you wear, and just make him not look like anything. Just just give, just give, make it a stat. Because we all know that Anthem and the Avengers are doing so well because they're doing that. Now granted, people are going to be like, oh, there's more problems than that. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. But it's still there, though. You're telling me people like to pay for all the... Bro... It's so funny to me that people say, nah, transmog doesn't matter. It's not it, as long as it's not in game. If transmog didn't matter, bro, or if cosmetic really didn't matter, then why is that literally the only thing people pay for when it comes to like free to play games? Fortnite. Let's see how many fucking skins do people buy in, in Fortnite? Fucking Warframe is a perfect example. People go out of the way to either buy or farm for items to pay for some of the cosmetics in that game. Same for, for Path of Exile. But cosmetics don't matter, right? Bro, get the hell out of there here with this weak-ass argument. Oh, cosmetic doesn't matter. Eat my fucking ass, bro. So, that's pretty much it. The whole cosmetic situation is the fact that people are either saying that you're not entitled to the armor set that you've already earned in game, even though, again, you've literally earned the game in game. Like some of the armor sets you can't even earn anymore because they're behind the uh, the Destiny content vault. But you're not entitled to that because you. What what, bro? I that argument is just so outlandish, like. I don't want to call out the content creator who said it, but bro, when I heard that, I was just like, bro, just say you you want to defend Destiny. Just say you, you're defending Destiny 2. Like, I don't know why you're, the people are defending this game hard, so hard, like they're fucking paid to defend the game. But here we are, people defending shitty practices and then wonder, why is the game so bad? Why don't we, why don't we have content? Why don't we have this or that? Because you let them get away with it. You let them get away with it. Because you think you're being a good fan by defending them. Let me give you some, some advice, bro. bro. If you defend the game like this hard over shit that no one should be defending, you're not being a good fan. You're letting Destiny become a shittier game because of it. If you push back, that does not mean you're an ungrateful fan or that you you don't know you like that you hate Destiny. It just means you don't want Destiny to become a shitty game. I've literally seen Destiny from Destiny 1 beta since Destiny 2. I've seen all the changes that it has come up with. And I've seen it become a lesser game because of it. And it's people defending the shitty practices that has made it the shitty game that it is today. It's embarrassing to say that you play Destiny 2. For the people who are like actually like honest with themselves, be real. It's embarrassing saying you play Destiny 2. It really is. It's embarrassing for me. Especially when I talk to other gamers and they're like, oh, what do you play? I'm like, oh, I play Destiny 2. I feel the embarrassment when I say that. 
because there's other games that I can be playing, putting my time in. That are much better games. But here I am playing this game that treats me like dog shit. Me and my friends were talking, my old clan clanmates, and they were telling me, Tony, why don't you just stop playing the game? And I was like, I fucking can't, bro. Like, I really wish I could, but I just can't. And they're like, Tony, that's called addiction. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know I've gotten addicted to Destiny 2. I know they have me hooked. I hate that shit. I give myself all of the arguments. Bro, doesn't matter how much time you've put into Destiny 2, that does not equate to you. You should be playing the game all the time. Just, it doesn't matter how much time you put in, you you, you can always quit. I always tell myself the arguments, but in, in my heart, I'm just like, I can't do it. I've played this game for so long, I can't give up on it. And it it is legitimately, I am addicted to this game. And I fucking hate it. Because I could be addicted to like Final Fantasy XIV, which is a superior game. And if anyone tells me, oh, you can't, you can't really compare those two because... Because Final Fantasy XIV is an MMO. Did did Bungie not say this is an MMO? Is this not a massively multiplayer online game? Is it not, my guy? Because it kind of is. And a shitty one at that. Because we, if we compare it to other MMOs, this is the saddest one. We couldn't even get... We couldn't even get free transmog. Because the devs... And not even the devs. This might not even be the devs' fault. This might be someone higher up that's just like, yeah, monetize it. And the devs are like, no. In all honesty, they probably did it way harder that, than what the higher ups said. Like, the higher ups probably were like, yeah, just monetize it somehow. Don't make it too crazy. And but and the devs were like, oh, we're going to make it crazy so people can bitch about it. And then we can get the free thing that we that Bungie wanted. I'm not defending Bungie. I'm not saying that could, that is what happened. I'm just saying it could have been what had happened. Because Bungie's not blind. They know they know people would have gone off gone crazy over this shit. And if I'm wrong and Bungie's just like, no, we didn't know it was gonna be that crazy, then bro, well welcome to another few years of just Bungie not knowing shit. Of being like so disconnected with the community. These are these are the dark moments when when Destiny are, is disconnected with the community. Because it's just change like this where it's just like, how do you not know this was bad? But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all things are in the description below. I apologize if I was getting a little too emotional, but bro, I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing Bungie shoot themselves in the foot over and 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 over. Like, and for the people who are defending Bungie, bro. Sometimes I wish I was like you because you must live a happy life. Like you must just like 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 they say ignorance is bliss. Like it just must be be awesome being you. And I don't mean to insult you, but it's just I I truly mean it. Like I just wish I I had like this whole image of that Bungie was just perfect and I did no nothing wrong because I probably would be a happier person. I wouldn't be as stressed as I am or as angry as I am because it's just it's it's just annoying, man. Like looking through their their in-game store and just seeing the prices they're selling some shit to people, and then people have the audacity to say that the Eververse store is the only way they really gain money. I'm just kind of like, bro, you mm. be safe, guys. You know what's happening, girl. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>